this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm going to be making a gift tag to match our Easter cards. Someone had asked a question if you can make the uh, matching gift tags for these adorable cards. And of course the answer is yes. So let's get started. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some of the elements of these cards and put them into a gift tag. Of course, I'm going to get some of my scraps out to make my gift tag because that's what I love to do. I'm going to use my uh, May May Made It stamp set and this one is called Hair Peaking, the same stamp set I used to make these cards. Okay, so there's really no um, particular size that I'm going to be making these tags. Uh, I'm just going to have fun with it and kind of go with the flow. And of course, I love to use my scraps wherever I can. And this is the perfect opportunity. So my tags don't have to be uh, really big. I'm going to just kind of cut these up as I see where I can get the most out of them. And I normally just cut a rectangle and then cut off the two top ends and then just kind of size it up a little bit better than this. See, right here. And I do use a template sometimes. But most of the time I just kind of go with the flow here. I think this is going to look super adorable as a gift tag for Easter or for spring. Okay, so all my scraps here. So I got one there. I know I can make another one out of this right here. And this one actually has some kind of number on it. And this was the um, packaging from a shirt. One of my husband's shirts, so this will work perfectly. Yep. And we're going to cover up that number anyway, so I think we'll be good to go. Okay, so I also use this really pretty ribbon. It's a 60 cent ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think that's going to work really well with this. And so the first thing I need to do is find out how I'm going to cover this. It's got a little bit of um, a couple of little imperfections, but that's where the challenge comes in. Okay, so let's go ahead and use, let's look at this one right here. I think it'll be fun to put a ribbon around this, just like there was one on here. I'm just going to cut this to measure for right now and then I'll go back and use it. So just measuring it out. I think that'll be cute. So let's put that aside for now. And I'm going to go ahead and start stamping some carrots on here. Okay, so I'm going to be stamping this with my Memento ink. Get some of those carrots going there. I think it'll look so cute. Kind of do the same thing with the carrots going across. Same thing I did on the card. And I'm just going to stamp it directly on to my base here. Okay. And I do want my I think I want my bunny to come up on the top there, right around this area right here, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp my bunny out. And I'm going to fussy cut my bunny. I'm going to probably need, I'm going to need more than one for each gift tag. Yeah, so one each. And I could have those ready, but I'll do a extra one just because I like to have more than one for the future. All right, and I'm going to grab my markers here and color these in. 
and I'm using my Tumbo markers. And I'm going to go ahead and color these in. And remember, this is not like a cardstock, this is like a packaging from a shirt. So it's always nice to see how the markers and that memento ink works on the packaging. So, so far, so good. Because you never know until you try. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and color in the tops uh, with the green and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're starting to match up there and it looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and take my ribbon here. And I've got my hot glue on standby in case I need it. I'm just going to go across, right across this section right here to get my ribbon on there. Yep, right about there. And I'm just using my uh, crafter's tape on there. And then right around the back here, I'm just going to put just a little bit to hold it. I'm going to wrap all the way around on here. And I'm going to just end it with a little bit of hot glue right there. Okay, and so that's what we got so far. So it's coming together. Not hard to match up. And I'm just using some of my packaging. I'm not doing any fancy paper. I'm using what I already have. Okay, so let's go ahead and color this in. And the bunny on this one has the little... Now this I did stamp out onto uh, some pieces of cardstock that I had left over. I'm still using what I have. And this is fun because once you already have the foundation for what you need, you can just create a bunch of um a bunch of the the gift tags to match. Yep. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and color in the other one to match this. And that looks like I used an orange gel pen. See, I'm trying to get everything back out that I had used before. And I went in there with the yellow. So let's go ahead and get this. Uh, oh, it looks like it's kind of a yellow. Okay, I'm just going to try it out. So it looks like it might be this color right here. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So I'm just following exactly what I did before. Making it look kind of easy here. And I'm going to do some stitching right around the ear. Okay, so those are ready for both gift tags because I, I have to do another one too. So, yep. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this. He's got a little blue nose to match that ribbon. So I'm just using some of my gel sticks here because they have that fine point to color that in. And if I wanted to, I could just stamp it right on here, but I actually want the bunny to kind of stand out a little bit. I want it to be kind of have that 3D effect, so I don't mind doing the extra fussy cutting to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this out, and then we'll go ahead and mount it on our gift tag. 
Okay, so our little bunny is definitely coming along. I'm going to go ahead and mount, mount it on here. See what that looks like. Put a little piece on the ears there. And of course, my little doggy cinnamon is in here with me. Just gonna put a little bit of the um, glue on here. Oops. And you don't want to do that. And just put it right here. It has that little bit of dimension. Look how cute that is. Now on the sides, I feel like it needs something else. But let me go ahead and punch my hole at the top here. Just so I can kind of know exactly where I'm going with this. I'm going to use the... Um, See if I could put Happy Easter right here. Might fit. This is going to look so cute if you do a, like a gift basket. I think it'll look really adorable on a gift basket. All right, so let me see if I can line this up right because I don't have much space to work with in there. So let's see what happens. I'm sorry if I'm off camera here. I'm trying to stay on camera, but I want to make sure I get this lined up right. So right in there. And that works perfectly. All right. See the little things that make us crafters happy. Okay, so now I'm going to take I need something around here. I am going to do the stitching, but also this little, the little bunny feet right there, I think that's super cute. So let's see if we can line that up on here. And let's see where we're going to put our bunny feet. I think it'll look cute with one right here. Just to fill up some space. Another one right here. Just make it look fun. And let's put, you know, I do have stitching on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and put some on here too. that just with a little bit there and there. Let's look and look at these and see what they look like together. Cute. Look at that. Adorable. Okay let's I've got a little bit of blue and I think the blue will bring out some of the blue in the ribbon and then the nose also. Okay I'm gonna cut this apart here. And I think this is so adorable. I like the way it came out. So it's possible to make a matching gift tag to match your, your card. So look how cute that is. Matching set. Okay, let's go ahead with this one now. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover this one. Now I'm looking at the outline of this. The paper that I used under here has is like a carrot paper, carrot theme. Look how pretty that is. And in case you're wondering, it comes from this paper pack right here from Echo Park. Hello Easter. So I'm using my scraps that I already used for the card. And so I'm just going to kind of put this, line this up. 
do this because I want this to be covered with that paper because it has the numbers on it. Yeah. So I want to get right up to the edge with this too. So some tags I, I cover with decorative paper just because. Let's go closer up to the edge here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to cut it off. Let's see how much more we have left here. Oh, that looks like it'll cover the whole thing. Yep, it sure will. And you could either use like, um, you could use some glue, like a glue stick, whatever uh, adhesive you have, just use it. Yep, and that will work. See how it's just all coming together? Okay, let's see what we can do with the other side here. See if we can cover some of that up. Right there, maybe, we'll see. We'll see if it works here. I may end up having a, a double-sided gift tag on this one, so we'll see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, not think about it too much. It's that thinking that gets us in trouble. It stops us from trying something new because we're we're afraid of um, of failing, you know. And this is not really this is not a big deal, you know. See, I'm trying to use every single scrap I could possibly use on this. Every scrap. Look at that. There we go. And let's see what else we can use for this. I could either go here with this and then do some carrots or something down there, maybe. Or let's see if I can find another piece that I can use for that. That doesn't match enough for me. I can actually put a little, some kind of sentiment. Let's see, did you hear? Somebody loves you. Okay, I think I got it. I got an idea. Because I want to cover that up. I'm going to put a, cover that up. It has those numbers, so I'm going to cover it up with some of this. This card stock right here, this white card stock. Okay, and so that ran out a little bit, so that's okay. We just go to the next thing. Use my art glitter glue. So I'm using every single bit of paper I possibly can. This is where all the wonderful scraps come in. So my bunny is going to be right there. And then here I'm going to put my sentiment. Or I might put my sentiment here and stamp out. I'm going to stamp out my some carrots on there. Yep, I'm making an executive decision. And I'm not going to use the big carrot. I'm going to use this really small carrot. That's where this comes in handy. I'm going to use this tiny carrot right here. I'm really determined to make this match, huh? So, got that on there, have a bunny right there, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like.
Okay, and I'm going to punch my hole in the top here. And I'm going to take my ribbon and I could wrap a ribbon around this one too. See, I think that looks cute. And that really plays off of that. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to take some ribbon again and wrap it around there and hot glue it on like I did on the other one. And then we could put our bunny on there. Okay, so I already put my mounting tape on here on my bunny. And I'm just going to put it right off to the side, right, right there. Kind of off kilter a little bit. And so it looks so cute like that, right above the ribbon. And on this side, I might end up just putting the um, sentiment right across here. Maybe Happy Easter, or let's see what else we got on there. I like Somebody Loves You. I like that one. And I'm going to stamp that out on a separate piece of paper here. And of course, I did put another bunny. Um, I might... I think that looks cute, doesn't it? Yep, I'm going to have to put that one side by side with, with his friend there. Yep. Okay, so our gift tags are coming along here. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this on here. And the bunny is slanted a little bit on this. It's supposed to be like that. Some bunny loves you. Okay, get my. I've got so much stuff on my desk right now. You would be. <laughs> uh, you probably wouldn't be surprised at the mess I'm making. I'm sure many of you can relate when you're doing all of your tags or cards. Sometimes one card can leave a whole mess. So I'm just going to do it just like this. Yep, and that's perfect. And let's see what we can do with this. I'm cut around it so it fits on our tag. I think tags are so fun because it's like having a um, a small canvas to work with. Just a real tiny canvas to work with and that needs an outline. So we're going to go ahead and turn that over so we can outline this. So I hope this is giving you some helpful hints as to what to do. I actually wasn't planning on doing a video, but when I saw um, someone ask, I said, you know what, I can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and outline this in green. Outline here. I'm just going to go along this just a little bit, add some color. That'll pull out the green in our carrot top there. It's just amazing what you can do with these little tags. I'm always looking for different ways to, to just try out different things. I think that works. Need anything else on there yet? Okay, yep, I think that'll work. Uh, let's see, inside of it, you might want to color it just a tiny bit. Yeah, just right in there. Bring out some of that green. I like the fine point tip on these tumble markers too. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have that lay flat since the um, on the other side it's mounted. So this will be a flat one here. 
That's a lot of glue, huh? <laughs> okay, so cute. All right. Okay, let's get this one mounted. And then we are good to go. Okay, so this is what we have on this side. We got the two bunnies lined up side by side. Super adorable. And then we got some bunny loves you. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Put my baker's twine. And this is actually um, the twine from the Dollar Tree. So this has a little bit of hint of blue and pink that you can see in there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I may have to go ahead and add another one to that too. Okay, so now I feel like it needs just a tiny little border <laughs> around it. So I'm just going to take my green here. And normally I would do this a little bit earlier in the whole process. So I'm going to be very careful on this. Not to slip up there because I've done that before. Just a tiny border, very lightly. Okay. So cute. And this was a good idea. I'm glad someone mentioned it. And so I had not put like everything away, but I did put some of the stuff away, but I was able to kind of grab it out real quick and do a video for you. So I hope this inspires you to do your little gift tags and use your packaging. No one's going to say, oh, you use the um, shirt packaging to make these. Nope, you sure not. <laughs> so I hope you like this idea. Here's the other one. Here's the one to match this. So look how cute. You got your own stationery you can make now. And here's the one to match this one. So adorable. Look how cute that is. So I hope this inspired you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to have you in my crafty family. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.